Your friends are scrolling through short content, but you, my friend, you're here to learn. Welcome to Yaris Clips. Why don't you draw a bit of a trajectory of the current government over the rest of the 20s as well as the 30s, both based on interior narratives and exterior narratives? Because um, I think we had Rajiv Malhotra on the show hmm. who suggested that possibly, again, there's no other word to describe this system. The closest word is dictatorship. Right. But uh, I think the word he used is single party state. Right. Uh, are we going there? Like, are we going to work? Because there's no opposition. Like, the closest person who has even a bit of bite is probably, uh, I mean, the party is AAP. Hmm. And there's nothing else which is even near. It'll bite the dust sooner than we realize. The AAP? Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's a point at which you need to rein in uh, your hyperbolean exaggeration. You've given yourself... Uh, labels such as he is the current day Mahatma Gandhi this and that come on yaar, who's going to believe this and of course Delhi Walas are not going to believe this they're way too smart for this right so uh, the problem is this um, there is a huge paucity of good options uh, as in, in the opposition and I, I think as it was Anand Ranganathan who said this who was a dear friend who said this that uh, uh, the BJP or at least Mr. Modi is blessed with the joke of an opposition in his horoscope. Mm. Okay. So... That's true. It's un unfortunate. It's unbelievable. Circumstances do create a uh, destiny. Correct. And this is true. Look at it. Where are the options here? And surely it can't be anybody's case that the government is getting everything right. It's not possible humanly. Human error is bound to happen. So that means people aren't paying attention to policy. People aren't paying attention to actual issues. They are busy playing identity politics to bring him down. Saying that he's anti anything that's anti not democracy, him. anti free speech. What are you saying? Who's going to buy this? Who's going to buy this? The number of articles which are written day in and day out. I mean, who? Which of these people has been jailed for writing against Mr. Modi? It may have happened for any other BJP person, but not for Mr. Modi, by the way. It could have happened at the state level. It could have happened for anybody else, not for him. I'm not going to defend him for anything. I'm just saying that choose your issues well. At least think through what you're saying. The chances of India becoming a single party state, almost like China or let's say a single party democracy as oxymoronic as it sounds like Singapore, is not, uh, it's not, I don't think it's, it's going to happen. Because you see, Singapore is a city state. Size plays a role. Number of options plays a role. Your ability to curb and finish your political opponents, all of that plays a huge role. That's not going to happen here. Okay. And importantly, as in every political party, there are huge differences of opinion in every party. Okay, so it's a question of how those differences of opinion are managed, right? Uh, there was a point when the Congress uh, in the 1920s and 30s had no alternative, okay? But the Swaraj Party came outside of it, established by uh, Chitranjan Das, Desh Bandhu and uh, Motilal Nehru, right? When they realized that uh, the non-cooperation movement isn't taking the Congress anywhere. So sometimes it may not be an opposition from the outside, it may also happen as a consequence of differences of opinion from within. Let me clarify. I'm not hinting at anything. I'm just saying, trajectories kaise ho sakte yeah, I think to be able to predict the future, you need to study history in detail. Exactly. So that's why you're exactly. Okay. So I'm basically saying uh, that <clears throat> more and more people who are interested in delivering the goods on the cultural side, on the civilizational side, may say, Vikas must go hand in hand with civilizational security, especially with too many problems, uh, let's say, rearing their heads. Okay. And uh, apart from that, uh, the larger revisitation that the entire world will go through is revisiting the model of democracy as it stands. I'm not saying it will move to dictatorship or whatever. It may want to go with some kind of what I call enlightened democracy, which is exactly what the Rajya Sabha was meant to do. So the Britishers, they designed it in such a way that Lok Sabha will accommodate all the popular voices to shut up the Congress. I'll give you a place to shout. But your policy decisions will be vetoed by Rajya Sabha because that will be populated by bureaucrats and subject matter experts. Which is why we have a policy even today of nominating experts from different fields as part of Rajya Sabha, saying the masses are represented here, the intelligence here will be represented here. We may look at a situation where the Rajya Sabha or a Rajya Sabha-like model finds greater say in policy making and whatnot. Will that truly happen? See, these things can't be designed these things are usually organic. It's a matter of a particular, let's say, 
spark where people realize no we need a different model now if this is not throwing up enough options two days ago uh, anand and i had the good fortune or let's say of sharing space at uh, the srcc business conclave Uh, with Mr. Mani Shankar Iyer, uh, Mr. Salman Khurshid, and Mr. Uh, Sudhinder Kulkarni, the topic of the entire debate was Western narrative about Bharat and Indian narrative about Bharat. That was the discussion. Us topic may be they managed to bring in BJP versus Congress. The entire thing was different. It was about media narratives. It's about how the West sees us. It's about how we see them. In what context? The BBC documentary, the uh, the downright. insulting caricatures during covid or the chandrayaan and so on and so forth where they still think of us as a country of snake charmers and what not and what's wrong with being a snake charmer sorry so these are the kind of caricatures that we were hoping to discuss it became about bjp versus congress within 10 minutes so i and the best part is the audience was tired of it yeah they like mudde pe baat karo talk about the issue we are not interested in this what about you anymore give us better content give us better issues to deal with that is what will push the conversation on democracy mm. so if you enjoyed this video make sure you check out this playlist for more videos just like this it's the artist clips